good morning and I do pray that this finds you well. This morning I would like to conclude our series looking at the Lord's Prayer by looking at the line and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. There is no doubt but temptation is all around us and it seems to be in our human nature that we are so easily tempted. We are still in the time of Lent and of course we begin the time of Lent by looking at Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. And so I would like to remind us of that biblical witness. And so I will read from Matthew's Gospel. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was famished. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, You do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him, to the very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give to you, if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. Jesus was tempted just as we are. Yet Jesus stood firm. He withstood those temptations of satisfying a hunger he had in his life. He withstood the temptation to test God. And he also was strong enough to turn away from receiving power and authority in ways that were not God-given. I dare say that these are the temptations too that tempt us in our lives. Maybe in our weakest moment, maybe when we are least expecting us. Temptation is all around. It is not easy to withstand, but I would like to liken it to a muscle that we can train. No one ever expects to jump into a swimming pool and swim a new world record. No one will expect to sit down for the first time trying to play a piano or the violin or the flute without any practice and play the perfect concert. In all these areas of our lives, we take it for granted that we need to practice and rehearse time and again. Lent is a time when we are invited to practice that muscle to withstand temptation by trying to fast in one way or another. It is a spiritual discipline that will uphold us in our daily lives. Study of scripture, prayer, those are things that will help us to withstand the ultimate temptation when we meet it in our daily lives. We are praying when we pray the Lord's Prayer that God will help us 
that God will be by our side when those moments come to make us strong. We are living in times when there is a temptation that we maybe thought we would never encounter, the temptation of stepping out of our homes, stepping out into the beautiful sunshine, going out into the countryside. It is another temptation that we need to withstand at this time, and it is not easy. Last night, we listened to Her Majesty, our Queen's speech, in which she asked us all to remain united and resolute. By being united and resolute, we have the means to overcome the disease that we are facing at the moment. Our Queen reminded us that in these times we find an opportunity to slow down, to pause and reflect in prayer or meditation. I would like to entrust these words to you. They are an opportunity for us to train that muscle, to become stronger. Stay safe and well, and may God bless you and your homes and all who live in it.